welcome back everybody and today I'm going to do an unboxing video for you on a wonderful product right here and I'm very excited to introduce this. I was asked to display it and kind of just do an unboxing video but I'm going to do one better. I'm going to do a follow up video to this down the road so I'll name this a part one if you will right. So we're just going to show you the product today and kind of give you an idea on how it works. So what we have here today is this and it's called vert planter now when I first seen this I thought uh oh this is going to be another one of those um, you know multiple port pottery self watering pottery things which is fine I just um, I, 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 it's a day for another video I thought that's what it was going to be um, well, I'm not totally against those. I'm just a lot of people think you can grow like an eight foot tomato plant out of one it Doesn't work like that uh, So this is this is a different product altogether. It's not basically one of those self wicking type of Oh, you yo's or whatever they call those things. Anyway, this is called vert planter So it's a very unique product that I've never quite seen anything like it in the market out there and I review and examine a lot of products this is very very different so let's open it up and take a look at what it is so first thing you got to do you got to get this open open up the lid and take out the contents all right so keep your box on the side I always say this to my viewers if you do buy the product and you always hold the box for one reason is you want to make sure you're able to restore it in the event you, you don't want to use it for a while. Or if you have to return it, you just simply have all the material in play. Don't don't throw your stuff away. I know I'm, I'm, I'm probably repeat that. And I'm, a lot of people just want to get it out of their way and they'll just throw it out if they don't like it. I always say hold the boxes because if you got room to keep those boxes, you could just put everything back in there and put it back into storage. And it's like brand new. And if you have a garage sale, well, they'll love you for it. Okay, so we got the tape off. Basically, what happens is, is you end up with something like this. You gotta make sure you're careful when you open this thing, right? You want it to pop out. I don't think it will, but it could. And it's, it is ceramic, so it is a ceramic device. And so we're gonna take this out right now. It's it's packed very well too, by the way, guys. This thing can be kicked around like a football. I'm not telling you to. I'm not telling UPS to do that, though they might. And uh, it'll take a beating. So. Basically, you take it out. A lot of packing material. I really like that. It really guarantees a safe passage. Uh, all right, because you're going to end up with this. This is the base. It's a ceramic base. It's glazed on the inside. Looks like it's also glazed on the outside. But some of it, like by the rim, looks porous. That might be deliberate. I, I don't know about the design factor. This is the lid, and this is not glazed. And the reason why they don't glaze it is they want it to remain porous. You can really feel it, the porosity of it. It feels very nice, very porous. Um, and then, of course, we have the device right here. Comes with little instructions inside. And so you end up with this thing inside. So I'll show you the inside. Now, the, the inside of it, you can't see it, but it's por partially glazed. That's strange. I didn't expect that. The gla when you glaze, when you graze, not porcelain, but when you graze this uh, pottery ceramic, like you'll see a lot of garden pots made out of this. When you glaze that, it generally stops it from weeping or leaking. It's equivalent to like making it out of glass, per se. So the inside of it has been glazed. And then if you look really close at the surface... You can see what it looks like, but there's no holes going into this unit. None. There's no holes in there. So what you're looking at right here is just a brown ceramic type of apparatus. Basically, this unit goes inside here, and it kind of sits in there like that. It's not, you got to be a little careful with it because it doesn't, like, lock in. So, yeah, it could, it could, like, if you put it in there, it could get crooked. I don't think it'll fall over. Yeah, you got to, like, balance it to where you want it. And then, of course, the lid would go on top like this. Okay, so it, I, I had to lower the camera a little bit, but the lid will basically go on like this. 
So again, you got your base, you got your ceramic in the middle, your lid, and that's all it consists of. There's nothing else to it. It's a very simple type of construction. It's not made to be complex or, you know, uh, too technological. It works off a of very simple uh, means. So before I do that, let me show you the, just a, a quick look at the guide. They give you a little booklet here to show you how to set it up. Right, so you're going to get that guide. I recommend you highly follow it above and beyond what I'm showing you on the video. And I just want to show you some of the arrangements of what they got. So as you see, those are the arrangements of... Now, please keep in mind, this is not for vegetables. This is made for ornamental type of plants, and they're very specific type of ornamentals. They say you can plant all kinds of things in it, but it, it, you need to understand how it works. And basically what it does is this unit provides moisture on a regular, continuous basis to the surface of the ceramic here. So it's going to keep it wet all the time. Now, not all plants are going to be comfortable with that type of uh, setup. So some plants like to be buried in soil. Uh, other plants don't mind part of the root being exposed to light and the bottom half of it sucking up water and growing. Now, there's a lot of plants that will live and work that way, but not all plants are quite that way. So this is really designed for ornamental purposes. You can grow certain, like... Uh, you know, certain types of vegetables on it, maybe not vegetables, but like certain types of uh, plants that you might be able to eat, for example, watercress is one of them, maybe some forms of parsley, you might be able to get away with uh, some plants like that. You're not going to be able to grow tomato plants and or uh, pepper plants on it. So this is made for plants that are going to have to allow their roots to be exposed. The other thing about this that I like that you might be able to grow on here would be like if you're into seed sprouting, you may be able to use it for sprouting your seeds and eating the sprouts. It's a good apparatus for that type of structure because I sprout I used to do sprouts in trays. So it's almost the same thing. You're not you don't need to grow into medium. The roots come out, they grow along the bottom, they form a root bed, and then all the sprouts are on top, and you're just trimming off what's on top. So this is a good sprouting alternative if you're into eating uh, vegetable sprouts. This is a good alternative to it, to going with the flatbed. So basically, this is it. There's no holes in here. So there's no holes in here. The only thing you could do with this if you wanted to try to sprout seeds on it is you can take like a seed mash, like you take seeds, pre-soak them into water until they create like a, a mash of some sort and then you take that and you just kind of smush it into these little holes. Not sure how well it's coming out. You see those little diamond uh, in, indentations? You can fill that with seeds. They'll grow like for example you could buy chia seeds or you can buy wheat grass seeds. You can smoosh them into there and then grow your, your grasses out of it and, and those kind of things, right? Again, you're not going to be growing tomato plants out of here or pepper plants. However, I am the kind of a person that I might be able to do that. Uh, I'm willing to give it a try and I'm going to try a couple of different experiments with this to do that but for now we're just going to put it put some water in here and kind of show you what it does so let's dump this water in so we just filled it with water and I'm waiting to see how long it's going to take before it actually starts permeating through it but I'll show it to you in the updated video because I'll have to shoot this on a second part but basically that's all you do is you literally fill this up with water you know not, close to the top maybe not 100 percent but really up high because the upper half of this is not glazed it's all everything below it that's glazed it looks like the whole thing is starting to to darken up in color and so that's basically it with this video i just wanted to show you how you would set it up and then like i said if you want to put seeds in here you can put seeds in here you can take you can go and remove mosses from the ground or your moss terrariums or your gardens and you can kind of just attach it to here with string and tie it on or you can uh, you, you can put your cuttings uh, and tie this next to where you would have your cuttings and then have your cuttings root out but again the roots are going to be exposed they're not going to actually grow into anything however it's coming through already. I see it coming through. This whole thing is turning very dark in color. You might be able to see that on camera. See how it's getting dark? 
on camera. It's already starting to get dark. Now I can smell the ceramic. I can smell it coming through. I could see how the plants would literally feed off the moisture. A link in the description where you can pick this up off their website. Anyway, guys, hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you on the next one. Take care.